Hi, Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing well, living your best life. Welcome to the channel. Um, this is going to be your reading. Um, we're going to focus on love just because I feel like you guys like to talk about love. So yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross spread today only because I just, I've never done that before. I don't think I have ever um, as a spread on this channel, but I really like doing the Celtic spread. Um, so let's get started. If you're interested in a private reading or you want to follow me on Instagram, all that information is going to be down below, okay? Spirit Angels Guide, show us what we need to see for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also Venus. What is their current situation or focus? What is their current situation or focus? The Judgment Card, ruled by your sign, Scorpio. Okay, so right now I feel like you're making a really big decision, a life-changing decision, or you have already have made that decision. That decision could be moving out of a relationship, moving to a different place, uh, moving a job here, but definitely big decisions or starting new love. Um, yeah, big decisions. Big decision, okay, leading to more decisions. Spirit, please show us what is the challenge here for Scorpio. The three of cups here. So I feel like you may not be wanting to socialize too much, Scorpio. You like to be by yourself for the most part, okay? And I feel like whenever you are around people, then I do feel like there's an energy of like, okay, I can have fun for a little bit, but then I need to go back. I need to go home and I need to, um, I need to restore my energy. I need to fill up my battery here. So I feel like right now you may not be in a very talkative social um space right now and that's what the challenge is okay the challenge is you might be having to go out you might you might be feeling like you need to go out and communicate with people but you're not feeling it okay what is your focus at the moment okay so you have two cards that flew out oh, actually three okay so what i see is you guys are focused on get the two of wands the knight of swords and the page of cups here i feel like someone send you a message here Someone sent you a message, okay, a love message, and they want to hang out with you, okay? Yeah, someone sent you a message here, Page of Cups, and Two of Wands here. They want to hang out. They want to make plans. They might, you guys might, make, might be already making plans here. But the Knight of Swords, I feel like there's this energy of, like, you're not trying to rush things right now, Scorpio. You're not trying to rush things, which is very interesting because Scorpio, um, when you are when you like someone or you love someone, you move pretty quickly. But in this situation, you feel like this person is like maybe laying it on too thick. It's like their love messages. They want to hang out with you, and it's just like you're moving a little too quick for me. And I just I just got out of something is what I'm getting. Okay, spirit, please show me the recent past for Scorpio. The hermit card so you guys went through some type of spiritual um awakening again okay you're always dying and rebirthing cycles here with you transformation is your name scorpio so yeah the hermit card is coming up because recently you went through um this dark period in your life where you had to kind of go in and figure things out again spirit please clarify the hermit card the the three of swords here so I feel like you may have experienced maybe some third-party energy within a connection here, okay? You maybe felt betrayed and you had to walk away from this situation. And it was a dark period in your life. Spirit, please clarify the Three of, of Swords. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what it was, Scorpio. The Two of Swords and the Five of, of, um, of Wands here. So I feel like... You were trying to make things work within your relationship, but there was this third party energy here. And I feel like it caused a lot of internal conflict and a lot of outer external conflict between between you and your person here. Uh, for some of you guys, it may be that you guys were, um, you walked away from a job that you were at for a very long time because you weren't getting along with somebody that you worked with, okay? I feel that this person cause a lot of drama and like conflicts and just like negative vibes in the workplace if not this is a relationship i do see with the two of swords here you reach this point where you were just like i cannot take this shit anymore i have to go i need to make a decision spirit yeah there you go the two the two of uh, the two of swords and the two of cups you had to make a decision so you weighed out your pros and cons and what was the result of that Actually, let's just keep going because we might see the result of that. Spirit, please show us what is the possibilities of this situation. Okay. 
cars has just been flying out today like crazy. Okay, what I see is things are gonna happen really quickly, okay? I feel like you put your energy into it, you start manifesting it, and you have, you. have some of you guys may have already started manifesting it, and I feel like shit's gonna about to happen really, really quickly, okay? In some area of your life. I don't know if this is work-related, I don't know if this is money, uh, love-related, work-related, health-related, okay? But when I see the magician, this is you in the lab, focusing on all your energy and just trying to make something manifesting manifestive energy here so i feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting here whether good or bad you know how that works right um it's about something's about to pop off some something's about to happen okay shit is happening even if you don't see it temperance card popping out spirit saying there's no need to rush here take your time okay so you, whoever it is that that person was coming towards you, like I said, I feel like you don't want to rush in the situation. But I feel like with you, Scorpio, it's all or nothing. So I feel like you might be rushing even though you're just like, no, I want to take it slow. Okay, I see that. The, look at that. The full card and the tower card. I'm not reading reversals. So I'm just going to read them for what they are. The full card and the, the tower card means making hasty decisions. Okay, so spirit is warning you, Scorpio. There's no need to rush in this situation. Take your time. Okay, don't do what you have done in the past because then you're going to end up having the same results. Okay, all right. Spirit, show us three to six months near future energy. Three to six months. You got a lot. The cars are just flying and they're like a lot flying at once. Okay. So we have the eight of pentacles. We have the nine of cups, the three of swords, and we have the queen of swords. Okay. Let's take a look. What I see you doing is working very, very hard to heal your heart from shit that has happened in the past. Um, you realize that in order for things to change for you in your future, you need to do the work. And that's what you're doing. You're working very, very hard right now to heal from something. Okay. I do see that you're working towards the nine of cups. You're getting to that place where you're feeling happy. You know, in three to six months, you are going to be restored. You're going to be in a place of restoration, of rejuvenation and feeling comfort again, feeling emotional happiness and like, all right, what else? What's, what's that? What else is out there for you? Ready, ready for the 10 of cups, but at the nine of cups. And I feel like with the Queen of Swords here, you might be in a place of position, high position here. So this is business related here. You might be getting a promotion here. You might be starting up your own business where you are obviously the boss here. But I also see with the Queen of Swords here being that you're going to have to make a really big decision within three to six months. Okay, Spirit, what does that decision have to do with? Page of Pentacles might be business related. Okay, because someone's going to hit you up. Someone's going to offer you something and you have to be very clear and very assertive as the queen of swords is um to give your answer to this person so what i'm getting for for this is in the next three to six months what I'm, i need you to do is not only heal from whatever it is that you need to heal from from whatever has happened whether in the workplace or within your relationship scorpio but what i also feel is that you need to start working on um your business skills your communication skills and really when it comes to you may be someone who doesn't like to talk about money even though you know you need it and you might be really good at getting it making it keeping it whatever the case may be but i feel like when it has to do with communication of money it may be a little weird so you may uh maybe not say the things that you want out of a situation because you don't want to make things weird spirit is like uh no you're the queen of swords be very assertive and be very clear and clear cut at what it is that you want because when this person offers you this page of Pent pentacles comes in and offers you this business opportunity it's going to it could be a love opportunity as well but it has to be an opportunity that's going to work for you scorpio if it doesn't work for you then it's not going to work okay if if, if if deep down inside you're just like uh not i'm really not feeling this i know it's not for me then it's never going to work but you have to you have the details of this situation and in order for this to work out for you you have to be assertive and know start working now scorpio what's going to make you happy okay if it's marriage that you want it, some of you guys might be um taking an offer for someone who's a little younger than you with the page of pentacles here okay all right okay spirit please show me the energy of what is scorpio's strength at the moment what is their strength their strengths okay the queen of wands you're beautiful you're uh creative you're in a manifest manifestive uh creative 
energy right now okay so whatever it is that you want to do right now spirits like if you want to fall in love we're going to bring that to you okay if you want to start your own business we're going to bring it to you you want money we can bring it to you and you know that scorpio you're sitting in a place of power where you're like i can do whatever it is that i want right now okay spirit clarify that queen of wands I told you abundance yeah so you right now are in a place your strength scorpio is that whatever it is that you want you can have it okay anything that you want is attainable if you want love if you want the home if you want marriage if you want children whatever it is that you want you're in a place of where the queen of wands and the ten of pentacles abundance creativity you're in a place where you're you're ready to start building again okay okay scorpio Show me the environment for Scorpio. The environment for Scorpio. Okay, so okay, so what I see you guys are um, wow, very spiritual card here. The Hierophant card and then the Seven of Wands here. I feel like you guys might be um, fighting some type of cultural norms. Okay. I feel like some of you guys are like, well, I want to get married, but I want to have a kid, but I want to get have get married before I have the kid, or I want to save before I buy the house, before I start looking for the house here. So I feel like you guys are going to do something spiritual, okay? Your environment right now is um, spirituality, balancing out spirituality and practicality right now, okay? Um, I also see commitment here of some sort. So I feel like Give me a second, because I have so many messages coming in for you, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you're in a very spiritual state, uh, Scorpio, but you're always like that. You're always in your, your spiritual bo uh, body. Um, but what I'm getting from this is that I feel like you've been triggered with the seven of wands here. It's like you're trying to walk in your spiritual alignment, but there's always someone or something that's trying to like, that devil, man. It's like always trying to piss you off or do something. So you might be, you might lose money or you might have some type of inconvenience during your day. And you're just like, I don't deserve this. I feel like I'm like really trying to be in my spiritual alignment and there's always something there. But I want you all to know, you already know this, that whenever you're vibrating at a high frequency and you're doing your thing, that's when Satan comes around. He's like, how can I destroy your, everything you have going on for you? Okay. Just last week, I, uh, I wasn't even, I, I got up early. I was in a good mindset. I went to go put gas in my car. I got food. I was like, all right, good. I'm going to start my day. And then all of a sudden I lost my phone. I don't know how I lost my phone. I went back to the gas station, could not find it. Thank God I found it later on, but it was all smashed. Okay. It's actually the phone I'm using to do this video. So it still works. Thank you, God. But it was like two days before that I had bought somebody a screen protector and a cell phone case. So I'm just like, why would this happen to me? Like, I just don't get that. But I just feel like whenever you're happy and doing your thing, that's when the devil wants to come around and try to like fuck shit up. Okay. Not today, Satan. Spirit, please show us the energy for Scorpio's hopes at this moment. Star card here, new beginnings, new dreams, new hope. So you crave new energy here, a new start, a fresh start. And the star card is also about healing, okay? Lots of healing in this reading. Spirit, clarify the star card. The queen of cups. You want a new be Okay. Scorpio, you want to heal your emotions here. You want a fresh start and you also want new love, but you want a love that feels effortless here, one you could feel safe in, Okay. Some of you guys might be manifesting in Aquarius, okay? The Hierophant might be a Taurus, okay? Might be another Scorpio like yourself. I'm only reading major arcana cards though as a Sagittarius, okay, a Libra. Okay. Spirit, please show us the outcome for Scorpio. Wow, that's a great outcome. Your outcome is you're going to reach this place of happiness very soon. And it's because you've been healing. You've been doing the work, Scorpio. And if you haven't been doing the work, then this is your guide to know how to get there. Okay. The guide here is to cut off people as the Queen of Swords does. Cut off people, situations, habits that are no longer serving you. Okay. 
get to the bag, get to all the things that make you you other than love, okay? And your outcome here is the sun. You reach the sun. You get. You come into the light. You find the light. You find your happiness here. Spirit, please clarify the sun card. The sun card is the ten of wands, okay? Spirit, clarify the ten of wands for me. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is going into the Emperor card. The outcome here, I feel like you learn to, I feel like you learn to um, pick up all of your lessons and all your burden, all this, this, this um, emotional baggage here. And I feel like you start to transcend that energy into the Emperor energy, okay? I do feel like this is a lot of fiery energy here. Some of you guys might be moving, packing up your shit and moving somewhere warm here where you might be meeting this Aries energy here, okay? But on general terms, I feel like your outcome is, is that you finally come to terms with the things that you need to change and things that you can't. I feel like you pick up all of that and you're just like, it is what it is. The Emperor card is your outcome. Spirit clarify the Emperor card. The Ace of Swords. So the universe delivering clarity and communication. Yeah. So uh, yeah, some of you Scorpios, you guys are going to be um, traveling or moving here. I, I don't know. I feel like this is moving. This is like moving all of your stuff, like all of your clothes, your furniture here. I feel like you guys are deciding, like, I know what's going to make me happy is to move, to try something different. It might be a place where there's a lot of sun, sunny and tropical here, warm weather here. And you are going to be in communication with the emperor card. The emperor, this is someone who might be older than you, might be someone who has a child, some someone who's an executive, a boss here, someone who's very assertive, okay? Ace of Swords, they're a great communicator, okay? And they're going to express something to you. Spirit, what are they going to express to Scorpio? What are they going to express to Scorpio? The, the Chariot card. That they want to move forward with you in a positive direction. Okay, so yeah, there's new love coming to you. Um, there's healing. There's anything you want, Scorpio. The world is yours. And that's actually what I'm going to title this video. The world is yours. Okay, Scorpio, before we go, I'm going to draw a card of one of these mythology cards for you. Spirit of card for Scorpio. <laughs> a win-win outcome is forecast. It sure is. Ashe. Okay. And then let's draw one of these cards from my Believe in Your Own Magic deck. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? I love this deck because I love the pictures. It's just not the easiest deck to shuffle because they are literally like, so, this is my hand and it's like my whole hand as opposed to like shuffle, like look at the difference. It's a pretty large difference. Anywho. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio? I'm gonna take this one too because it felt right. <laughs> that literally sunny place, Scorpio. Lioness, you've earned all of your stripes. You sure have. You deserve to be where you're in this place right now, okay? You deserve it all. Stars, you can manifest your every wish. You sure can because you're the queen of wands at this moment. Scorpio, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, share and also like this video. It helps me and helps the channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye.